Howdy, boys and girls. It's your buddy, Pastor Mark. Before I dive into our Bible lesson, which happens to be the Easter story, I have a question for you. Do you know why you can't tell an Easter egg a good joke? Because it might crack up. <laughs> oh, come on and laugh. I know you love my yokes. Okay, okay, enough of my corny humor. Let's get to the Bible story this week, which you can find on page 1068 in your Kids Beach Club Bible. It's in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 1 through 10. Now, do you know why we celebrate Easter? It's not about the Easter bunny or finding colored eggs. On Easter, we remember that Jesus rose from the dead, conquering sin and death. Now, on the night before the start of our story, Jesus was eating a meal with his friends, the disciples. He took some bread and he blessed it and he told everyone to eat of it, for it represented his body about to be given for them. And later, he took a cup and told everyone to drink from it because it represented his blood about to be poured out for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus was taking responsibility to pay for sin by allowing his body to be put to death and his blood to be shed on the cross. The disciples didn't understand what Jesus was telling them. That night, one of them betrayed Jesus. Jesus was arrested and dragged to an illegal trial in the middle of the night. The next day, Jesus was crucified. After he died, some friends placed his body in a tomb, which was kind of like a cave. Then the authorities rolled a big stone across the mouth of the tomb because they didn't want anyone to steal the body of Jesus and claim he rose from the dead. Of course, the disciples were very sad about all of this, but they were also afraid that the authorities might come for them too so they lock themselves behind closed doors. What happens next is the most amazing story of all time. At dawn on the first day of the week, two women came to visit the tomb. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake and an angel came down from heaven. The angel rolled the stone away and sat on the tomb. Now, there were some Roman soldiers guarding the tomb and they freaked out. The Bible says they shook in fear and then froze like dead men. The angel told the women to fear not. He said that Jesus was not there, that he had risen just as he said he would. The angel invited the women to look into the empty tomb and see where his body had been. What a great story. The story of the very first Easter. Now, I know that the events leading up to Easter can make us sad. Jesus suffered a lot when he was betrayed, accused of so many things that were untrue, and then whipped and marched to a cross where he died a painful death. But do you know why he did it? He did it for you and me and the whole world. Jesus took responsibility to die for our sin. Because he was obedient, he was raised from the dead and is alive forever. Kids, would you take responsibility for your soul and make Jesus your forever friend? If you haven't already, I hope you will make that very important decision today. And don't ever forget this, kiddos. God loves you, and so does Pastor Mark.